Advanced Physical Therapy Education Institute. This is the single leg sit to stand test. It's indicated when you suspect an L2 to L4 nerve root compression. Can you put your hand in my hand, please? This is purely for balance purposes. Now extend this knee and stand up using one leg only. And she did that perfectly. And come down again. Once again, she didn't require much force onto my hands. Now extend this leg and she's going to use her affected leg to stand up. And go ahead, stand up. And she's struggling. She's unable to do it. She puts a lot of pressure into my hand. Get up and go down. And she doesn't have control going down. So the weakness in this test may indicate uh, weakness of a quadriceps, which could be a sign of L2 to L4 nerve root compression related to a disc herniation. You have to look at a composite of tests to see if this test is relevant. I'm about to demonstrate the femoral nerve neurodynamics test. Ask the patient in the sideline with the affected side up. Can you hug your bottom knee, please? She hugs her, similar to the slump position. I ask her to look down as far as she can go. Then I slowly extend the hip and note an increase in tone. Right there, I feel the tone. Is there any pain in your thigh? And she says, yes, I feel a burning or pulling pain in my thigh. I back off. I ask her, can you look up now, please? And I reassess the extension and notice that there's significantly more hip extension. How's the pain? She says, oh, it's less. Can you look down again, please? And she looks down. How's that? What, what happens to your thigh? And she says, ow, that's shooting the pain back into my thigh. Look up again. Ah, that feels better. That is a positive femoral nerve neurodynamics test, which is a potential indication that there's an L2 to L4 nerve root compression, which may or may not be from a disc herniation.